doing? You miss your kid? Every day. You trying to make me cry? ID, ID! <laughs> What you did out there. If he pulls through, it's because of you. Maggie, welcome back. Where's Paul? It's been 15 months since you've been gone. That's a lifetime for a little kid. Hey, buddy, it's me, it's Bobby. He's not my mom. Hey, Don't say that. buddy. This is a fascinating movie in the sense that we don't really see a lot of portraits on screen of women in the military or single moms who are also in the military. And um, I think it's. It's, it's almost, it's really painful at the beginning when she comes home to find that nobody's waiting for her. And it sort of contrasts with all these images we see on TV of soldiers coming home or surprising their kids. And uh, I was just curious, um, was there a lot of training for the both of you? Did you do a lot of research in regards to uh, parents in the military or spouses that have been away for a while? Uh, I fortunately had the opportunity to go down to Fort Bliss. Uh, and that's where we shot a portion of the film. Um, I was down there for about four or five days um, in addition to doing a medic training course and things like that. I really spent a lot of time with soldiers and female soldiers in particular and medics and they really shared their stories and they were very honest about um, events and their experiences downrange but also coming home which was what this movie is about and the, the aspect of, of war that we don't hear very much of. and. Um, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. So I was that became incredibly invaluable to me. Yeah, I was interesting because you see her driving home, and it's like the town is all familiar, but yet it's different, and you can sort of sense that from her eyes. That's that's exactly right. You know, so much can happen in 15 months, and and you know, it's hard for people that are at home waiting for them um, to fully grasp and understand what. Um, their soldiers or their loved ones have, have experienced and it's so hard to convey that and almost immediately you are expected to jump back into this parenting mode and um, emotionally it's a it's a very big leap and it's very very challenging for families yeah and especially with your character Ron I mean he's been on the outside of this I mean he's been there for his son at the same time it's sort of you 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 have your struggles with it as well because you don't know how to prepare your son or when she, when his mother comes back home. Yeah. And was that was that? Did you do a lot of research in that area too? You, uh, you know, I I think Richard's probably a little emotionally stunted. I've spent my whole life doing research on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I I I think there's also um, there's just a little bit of confusion. I think as a guy that you run into because. There's still something in the culture that teaches you that you're supposed to expect a woman to be, you know, like Emmanuel, like Alma, like Emmanuel's character, who, you know, is just there and takes care of all that stuff and, and lets you go do your thing. And, and uh, I think there's a part of him that just doesn't understand why, why Maggie couldn't just be that, you know, just be that person. But at the same time, that's not the person he, he married, you know. So... Um, you know, sometimes men all, always they want women to be that, but they're not necessarily attracted to the woman who is that. They like the woman who's got something going on. Mm -hmm. You know. What I liked about your performance is, I mean, um, it's not a surprise that you're believable as a soldier because we saw you restart Tom Cruise's heart Mission Impossible. <laughs> you know, at the same time, um, what I liked is that you know, just looking at your character, you know that she's been a military veteran. She's been through war. She's mm -hmm. spent a lot of time on the field for a long time. Um, how, how challenging was that to pull off? Well, uh, it was it was challenging in the sense that it was um, incredibly daunting for me. And I, it was my biggest fear going into it, honestly. It was becoming um, a soldier, so to speak, and really being believable and something that I took very, very seriously, um, as did Claudia Myers, our writer and director. And I knew that... I would be in good hands with her. Uh, we we really made sure that everything was to Army standards and specifications. We had um, field experts with us for every scene that we were doing to make sure that it would be authentic. Uh, and again, I spent a lot of time with women and they answered a lot of my questions and they shared with me a lot of stories. Um, 
it, it was really incredibly important. I can't stress that enough. And, you know, we were now fortunate enough to share it with a lot of our core audience, the GI Film Fest, and they were very positive and felt that the movie and the performance is an authentic de depiction of their experiences. So that was the, the highest compliment that I could have received. Great, and the kid who plays your son in the movie, I mean, Terrific awesome, Oaks. he's awesome, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I was just curious, um, what was it like working with him? Easy. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, he's a good little actor, he's a hell of an actor, and, you know, I think Ron and I both agree, it's just like, it's, it's, it's nice to um, see a kid who's just a kid, but who can just come in front of the camera and turn it on, and he was always emotionally present, he knew his lines, and you know, it wasn't an easy shoot. We shot it in 21 days. It's kind of remarkable that a little kid can just turn up to set and do some pretty heavy and weighted scenes. Yeah, and we worked him pretty hard. Yeah, we did. We did. And, you know, Showed we gave him a lot of sugar. Them. Gave him a lot of sugar. <laughs> uh, but he was a good, good little guy. So what? So Afghanistan? I don't have a choice. You had a choice, and you made it, because you'll fight for your country, but you won't fight for your son. Sometimes I think Paul would have been better off if I hadn't come back. All I know is you're one hour of a medic. Why is it so hard for you to let down your guard for a second? Did something happen? You're back there? Please stop. A lot of things happen.